We'll call this meeting of the Silver City Town Council to order. Please rise and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I could ask Councillor Thompson to read our mission statement. Thank you, Mayor. Silver City is the hub of an inclusive community settled within a small town that through guided growth honors and preserves its historical, cultural, and natural heritage while facilitating jobs, health, and educational education resources such that the residents and the visitors may enjoy and protect the recreational opportunities of the area and a high quality of life. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is under proclamations, and I actually have three of them. Do we have Judge Quintero? I'm Barbara Ray, Chief Attorney Barbara. Join me up here, brother. We're going to just go here to the microphone. Okay. Whereas one in every four of the 1,750,988 New Mexicans live in poverty and experience legal problems, with the majority of these civil problems being family law issues, divorce, child support, custody, abuse, consumer issues, creditor harassment, utility non-payment, bankruptcy issues, health issues, Medicaid, government insurance, nursing home, employment issues, unemployment benefits, pension, lost jobs, and housing issues, unsatisfactory repairs, foreclosure, eviction, poor living conditions, and whereas each year the low-income citizens of Silver City lack access to legal assistance for their legal problems that are often critical to their safety and independence, forcing them to resolve complex legal problems on their own. <coughs> whereas the need for legal aid in New Mexico is dire, funding for low-income New Mexicans who need civil legal assistance has not yet been met, with the consequences being a lack of access to justice, which is devastating for poor and which weakens our democratic society as a whole. And whereas, although 72% of the members of the legal community in the 6th Judicial District donated their time and talents in free legal service each year, a huge unmet need for legal assistance remains for the disadvantaged in our area. <coughs> whereas, sponsored by the Access to Justice Commission and the American Bar Association with support from local pro bono committees statewide. Pro Bono Week 2011 from October 23rd to the 20th will educate the public about the will educate the public about the extensive work New Mexico lawyers are doing by donating their time to improve the lives of vulnerable members of our community and will encourage more individuals in the legal community to get involved in pro bono work and financially support the legal aid system. And whereas Pro Bono Week 2011 will feature legal clinics throughout the state, assisting New Mexicans who greatly need legal assistance but cannot afford to pay for that help, and will also feature recognition events throughout the state of New Mexico honoring lawyers and judges for making a difference in New Mexico. Now, therefore, I, James R. Marshall, Mayor of the Town of Silver City, Grant County, New Mexico, do hereby proclaim October 23rd through the 29th, 2011, as Pro Bono Week, and urge all residents to recognize the contributions of our legal community, helping those most in need. And I present this to you. Thank you. And I like uh, just have a few words to say that we're going to be celebrating Pro Bono Week in Silver City on October 26th. Uh, we're going to have an event uh, at the old uh, the Grand County Business and Conference Center. And there's going to be presentations by local attorneys on various areas of the law. That will start at 1 o'clock. And starting at 2.45 p.m., there will be free private consultations uh, for anybody who wishes to come. And you don't have to come for the presentations. You can just come at 2.45. And if you're, they're 15-minute consultations, and the services will be provided by New Mexico Legal Aid and the local bar. And if there's too many people to be seen, we had about 70 last year, uh, then you will get a voucher to have an appointment with a local private attorney at another date that you can arrange yourself. And I've left flyers um, on the table in the back. Uh, for anybody who would like to take some with them. And I uh, just really want to thank Judge Pintero, our presiding judge, who's really spearheaded uh, pro bono uh, participation in our community. Thank you.
I just real quick, Barbara, before you leave. I've, yeah. I've known Barbara, I think, since since she hit Grant County <laughs> and worked with her on, on many issues as, as an EMT and out in the field. And if you look up the definition of a, of a caring and competent attorney, oh. I think you'll find Barbara. <laughs> she truly does a great service for Grant County. Thank you. Next is a proclamation on Wyke and Walk and Bike to School Month. Anybody here to accept that? Come on up. Okay, well we have uh, Mr. Nackis, and I've got a student with me, and first class with everybody. Excellent. Okay. 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 There you go. My God, all these kids came. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. I don't like it. Thank There we go. Perfect. I've also asked Councilor Thompson to join me as I read this as somebody who truly walks and bikes everywhere, including meetings in Santa Fe. Um, <laughs> This is a proclamation, whereas lives of New Mexicans could be saved each year if all communities took steps to make pedestrian safety a priority, and whereas a lack of physical activity plays a leading role in the rising rates of obesity, diabetes, and other health problems among children, and being able to walk or bicycle to school offers an opportunity to build activity into a daily routine, and whereas driving students to school by private vehicle, vehicle contributes contributes to traffic congestion, fuel consumption, air pollution, however understood to be sometimes necessary. And whereas an important role for parents and caregivers is to teach children about pedestrian safety and to become aware of the difficulties and dangers that children may face on their trip to school each day and the health and environmental risks related to physical inactivity and air pollution. And whereas community members and leaders should continue to make changes to ensure children have the ability to safely walk and bicycle in our communities and maintain the list of suggestions for improvements that can be done over time. And whereas children, parents, and community leaders in the town of Silver City and around the world are joining together to walk and bicycle to school and to evaluate walking and bicycling conditions in their communities. Now therefore I, James R. Marshall, Mayor of the town of Silver City, Grant County, New Mexico, do hereby proclaim October 2011 as Walk and Bike to School Month in Silver City, New Mexico, and encourage everyone in our town to consider the safety and health of our children today and every day. Anybody want to say anything? Thank you very much, uh, Mayor and Council. I want to commend you and the Silver Schools for, partic for participating and working in, in partnership with the Southwest New Mexico Council of Go Governments. We are the regional planning organization, and we do have a transportation planner that couldn't be here today. But that, that is one of her um, duties is, is to try to uh, really look at transp transportation from a multimodal aspect. So we commend you for your efforts. I certainly want to thank these students for being here today and participating, and of course for the Silver Schools. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any of you guys want to say anything? Can I say one thing real Absolutely. quick? Absolutely. I just want to say, um, get to know these faces. These are some of our better students coming up. Um, so look out for these guys. Alfred, what do I say? Uh, um, this is uh, just such a wonderful opportunity for the town, Department of Transportation, Council of Governments, uh, citizen groups, and the town to work on stuff. The town's part of this program has been uh, the bridge that's going um, up at Jose Barrios. That uh, pedestrian bridge is going to really open up the town. It's going to be great for students. It's going to be great for the citizens of, uh, of Silver City. So um, I'm really happy to see this proclamation. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Our next proclamation is on Fire Prevention Week in Silver City. Look at all the firefighters up here. <laughs>
Whereas the town of Silver City is committed to ensuring the safety and security of all those living in and visiting our community. And whereas fire is a serious public safety concern, both locally and nationally, and homes are where people are at greatest risk from fire. And whereas nearly 3,000 people die from home fires each year. And whereas home candle fires are reported to a U.S. Fire Department every 30 minutes on average. And whereas working smoke alarms cut the risk of dying in a reported home fire in half. And whereas Silver City's first responders are dedicated to reducing the occurrence of home fires and home fire deaths and injuries through prevention and proper education. And whereas Silver City's residents are responsive to public education measures and are able to take personal responsibility to increase their safety from fire, especially in their homes. And whereas residents who have planned and practiced a home fire escape plan are more prepared and will therefore be more likely to survive a fire and whereas the 2011 fire prevention week october 16th through the 22nd theme it's a fire it's fire prevention week protect your family from fire effectively serves to remind us all of the simple actions we can take to keep our homes and families safe from fire during the fire prevention week and year round there Therefore, I, James R. Marshall, Mayor of the Town of Silver City, do hereby proclaim October 16th to the 22nd, 2011, as Fire Prevention Week in Silver City. And I urge all of the people of Silver City to protect their homes and families by heeding the important safety messages of Fire Prevention Week 2011 and to support the many activities and efforts of the Silver City Fire Department. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I'd like to introduce a couple of my firefighters. Uh, we have Engineer Mike Davila and Lieutenant Eric Ray. And I'm going to have uh, Eric Ray, who is uh, a nephew to Constable Joel Ray, speak because he is our fire prevention coordinator, and he can talk a little bit about the activities that we're going to have next week. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Mayor, Council. Um, actually, National Fire Prevention Week was scheduled to be October 9th through the 15th. But uh, unfortunately, that fall during fall break for the Silver Consolidated Schools, so in order to accommodate them, we went and pushed it ahead a week for the 16th or the 22nd. That way the schools could come and visit both of our stations, and we could also make trips to the schools to give presentations regarding fire safety. As the mayor was saying in the proclamation, the National Fire Protection Association stated that from 2005 to 2009, there were over 370,000 reported structure fires, and from those, 2,500 civilian deaths occurred. So by taking simple action plans, such as implementing a fire escape plan, identifying potential hazards that are at risk when home fires could happen, we can greatly have a tremendous impact on reducing those fire deaths. Um, I'm pretty excited this year. We were able to purchase some different products to hand out to the children, and we also have literature for the parents. We also purchased a new Sparky suit. Uh, new and improved. He's animated, so we'll be unveiling that tomorrow on CATS. Uh, I encourage all of you and the public to bring your family members, children, down to the station and see what it's all about. Uh, children get to become familiar with what we look like when we have our full personal protective equipment on. That way they know not to fear us if we're inside looking for them when a structure fire is going on. Um, any questions or comments from Council or Mayor? All right. Thank you. Good job. Next item on the agenda is public input. I remind everybody you have five minutes to speak. If you're looking at me, I'll try to give you a one minute heads up that you're running out of time. And if the item is on the agenda already, you'll have ample time to discuss at, at that point. We won't, won't go into that during public input. The, so that leaves us with two people, Susan Allman, Reference her ISC petition. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor, Council Members, and Silver City Inns. Um, this is not mainly addressed towards you. Um, a lot of people don't know that I'm trying to get Governor Martinez to appoint me to the ISC. 
I'd like to represent the Southwest since we don't have any um, ISC members from the Southwest. I think they meet in Santa Fe once a year. And I've already said this at a lot of council meetings, but if, what I do want to say is that I will be circulating petitions to Governor Martinez, and the only requirements that I'm asking for is that you be a New Mexico resident and that you can sign your name in cursive. Um, I don't care if you're a registered voter. Um, that's their business. And my goal is 5,000 signatures, which I think should carry um, a certain amount of weight with it, actually. And my second issue, um, nobody's mentioned it, but it is related to the bike to work week and the kids biking. And I think the quarry should go up to the rec center because I walked up there one day to the bike works and I walked to the rec center and it's a real killer of a walk. You know, do the parents have to come and pick up the kids and drive them up there or what? A lot of kids go to the rec center program and a lot go to the bike works that don't have their bicycles. And I think the Corps should go. You'll see my petitions. Back to petitions. Um, I'm going to hammer some up on posts and try to put them in uh, businesses. And a lot of people will be carrying them around. And I say let's win the chicken wars. Thank you. Next will be Sissy McAndrew on Visitor Center update. Thank you, Mayor and, and Councilors. I just wanted to let you know that everything is going great over at the Silver City Visitor Center. Uh, the Southwest New Mexico Green Chamber of Commerce took over the management of the facility on August 1st, and we have been open every day since. Uh, in August, we had 1,436 visitors, and in September, we had 1,484. We are getting busloads. We are getting people from all over the world, and we are also in the process of, of revising the four-fold brochure, and we will be putting together a new community guide because we are moving through materials so quickly uh, that we need to be resupplied. Uh, we will report back to you at the end of the quarter along with the Arts and Cultural District who is coordinating all the marketing and advertising. Uh, but we're getting a very positive response from the community and also from the businesses downtown. Uh, we have 17 volunteers at this point and still looking for more. Uh, everybody seems to really be enjoying sharing their community with the public. Uh, just want to thank those folks that have contributed their time and energy and also thank the town of Silver City.